<clears throat> What's up everybody? Um, today's video is a little different. Like I said, this channel isn't just about fitness. It's about improving yourself all around. And uh, if you can help other people with everything you learn, it's a win-win for everyone. Because if I help one person, that one person could help another, could help another, could help another. On here I could reach multiple people. And all those people could help multiple people. And it'll extend like the branches like of a tree. And more and more people could get helped. Mm -hmm. If they need it. Now, with my personal journey, I started with working out. Uh, I started lifting and loved the progress and thought I was just addicted to physically, you know, becoming jacked and strong, all that typical stuff when you're very young. As you get a little older, you realize it's not the most important thing. And you also realize that the body isn't going to last forever. And the thing that will last longest is the mind. Now, the title of this video is how to get what you want. And I promise you that if you follow these steps, you will get exactly what you want. The issue with this is that what you want, first of all, the hardest thing, the hardest thing to do is to decide what you want. Once you can decide what you want, that's the first step. A lot of the times I have say no goals because I don't know what I want at the time. I could say, let's take for instance a new car, right? I want a Jeep SRT8 and then I want a Mercedes, then I want the Jeep again and then I want, I can't decide. It's the most difficult thing to do is to decide exactly what you want. A lot of people are lucky deciding what they want. They know right away and that saves you so much time. Regardless of that, you can test the methods I'm about to tell you. Some people will probably think this is a bunch of bullshit, but the people that need to hear it will hear it. Let me uh, start you off with a little introduction on the things I've learned. I'm gonna be doing some book recommendations soon, but like I said, I thought I was just into fitness and I realized I'm into overall improvement and self-development not only the body but also the mind the mind is the most important thing the mind is what gets you up every day and tells you hey it's time to go to the gym your body just listens and obeys what the mind says you plan out the workouts in your mind everything in your head but that's for a whole nother topic anyways how to get what you want i started by reading success books uh, I have a very logical brain, very nerdy brain, where everything has to make sense. I'm not, I don't get into this weird mystical stuff. It has to be legit. I need to see scientific facts on everything. I would read all these books and they would, you know, tell me the same things over and over and it seems so simple. It kind of started getting me into looking out other branches trying to find other things and I started to read some books that were kind of and listening to some people that was kind of strange you know talking about the Bible and the lessons in there and I was trying to figure out like why they all keep telling me the same thing and just in different ways but the message was all the same I decided instead of reading another book which I kept reading book after book after book, which all basically told me the same thing, to actually finally ap apply the principles. I had a hard time believing everything I read. And I said, fuck it. It's the same thing I did with If It Fits Your Macros. I was like, no way I can get lean eating junk food or whatever, even though I don't advocate that. And I was like, the only way to find out is to experiment and try it out for myself. I did the same thing with these methods, finally. And I try to wrap my head around how it works. And maybe it's not for you to understand. The best thing I could come up with is that you change psychologically. 
to make your your wishes come true a lot of people you know law of attraction but it's I just feel like that's a little that leaves a, a big door open so a lot of people don't understand it from the law of attraction but I'm gonna tell you what's worked for me and I've experimented and it's blown my mind and I need to get back on point with it so that was a long intro but here we go how to get what you want the first thing you have to do is decide exactly what you want okay so <clears throat> I would start with physical material objects whether it's money whether it's a new car whether it's an Xbox or protein supplement or TV or whatever it is obviously the smaller items are gonna be easier to get not only because they're cheaper it's easier to acquire that money but also because cheaper things you tend to believe more believe that you can get them like I could believe I could get an Xbox 360 a lot easier or Xbox one a lot easier than I could believe me getting a Bugatti all right because it's a lot cheaper so in my mind I accept that so number one decide what you want and that rolls into what I just talked about number two you need to be able to believe that you can have it that's really one of the most important things so a lot of you say oh I want a Bugatti probably not let's say Lamborghini I want a Lamborghini and you, you won't really believe that you can actually have that so you're more than likely not going to get it you need to know exactly what you want decide what you want and believe that it's possible now once you get those two things rule number three is this you're gonna have to write it down on a piece of paper the reason why this is so important is so you can physically look at what you want every day when you wake up every day you're gonna read exactly what you want you're gonna read that list write down whatever you want be specific and write down only what you believe yourself having so in the morning I want you to read this list because what the mind focuses on it will attract now the way it does this is you start to think about it so often that you will start to change you'll start to you'll start to do subconsciously whatever it takes to get this thing that you want true so write it down on a piece of paper every morning when you wake up read that list in the afternoon when you're taking your lunch break read that again right before you go to bed read it again now you wonder why this is so important why do I have to read it first thing in the morning right what happens if you wake up and you hear a song? You hear a song right when you wake up. It's stuck in your head all day. Now what happens if you watch a scary movie or something right before bed? You end up having nightmares of, of whatever, whatever, you were, or whatever you were thinking about before bed is usually in your dream. You're planting a seed in your subconscious mind. And if you plant the right seed on what you're focusing, then it will come true. If you believe it, it'll be it'll be a seed planted in your head where you almost become obsessed thinking about it all the time. So every morning, I want you to read exactly what you want. Every afternoon, read what you want. And right before bed, read what you want. In your spare time, think about it. So now what do we got? We decide what we want. Okay? We believe that we can have it. And we read this list three times a day right when we wake up sometime in the afternoon refresh our memory and right before bed that's really all you have to do but I've got a couple tips to make it happen even better this this one tip is uh, to not tell anyone what you want it's very important that you don't tell anyone if you tell people what you want, well, say I say I want a million dollars, and I believe that one day I could have it. If I tell someone that, most likely they're gonna say, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna get a million? How are you gonna make that kind of money? 
or they're gonna say, yeah, don't we all? It's gonna seem like your, your wish isn't that important. Everyone has that wish. And if they ask you how you're gonna do it, you're gonna sit there and start to wonder, shit, how am I gonna do it? I, I don't know. And you're gonna start to question if you can really even have it. You cannot tell anyone because you can't let anyone else's thoughts corrupt yours. You need to stay focused on what you want, keep it to yourself, believe it's real, and keep it in your mind. Do not tell anyone, anyone what you want. Keep it to yourself. That way they cannot corrupt you. If you have a strong mind, then great, but we all fall victim to other people's thoughts. The other important reason for reading that stuff all the time, thinking about it, is because if you don't, society and the way that the world is, with a lot of negativity, and other people's corrupted thoughts and their way of thinking and they're not understanding of this again they'll mess up your they'll mess up your your vision or your thought process to where you just feel down and you feel like it's not possible and you'll feel logical again you'll be like oh, I have to do this I have to work a nine-to-five and then I have to you know go home and go to bed and then I have to wake up the next morning and work and it's just it turns into a routine where you're basically you're drifting you have no real set point and that's fine if that's the way you want to live. But if you made it this far in the video, I'm guessing this is that's not how you want to live. The other last tip, this is the stranger one. When you go to bed, when you're relaxing, visualization really helps. Now I did this recently I, and every, I'm telling you, everything that I wanted, that I believe I could get, that I read on my list, that I focused on, and that I did this last step came true. And I, and I, I don't even know what to say about it. It just flabbergasts me. Go to bed, relax, and picture your wish as if it's like fulfilled already. So if I want a million dollars, I'll picture myself. Not in third person, but like you're playing first person shooter. I'll picture myself with that a million dollars or looking, logging into my bank and, and seeing a million dollar statement and I'll feel it just like I, I had it. I would just feel the feeling of it having a million dollars. Or if I want a new computer or a new TV, I'll, I'll picture myself sitting down watching, you know, on my brand new TV and flipping through the channels and, and the way it would make me feel. You know, and how I feel, or redesigning my house, walking through the house, and sitting and experiencing it. And I will do all this over and over and over and live in that moment in my imagination until I fall asleep. And I keep doing that every night until I get my wish. The beautiful thing about imagination is you can live like that. You can, ha you can live like you have it real. Um, it's... It's astonishing and the only way I, the only thing I could think of is that when I did this there was external factors that would help me get it or whatever it is but I started changing I started doing things differently now maybe this is too deep for some people but I'm just telling you exactly what I've learned and what I've tried and, and it's happened if you doubt this and you don't try it fine there's no loss to me there's no loss to there's no loss at all except for the loss of you missing out on trying this you have nothing to lose if you follow these steps and you believe it and you try it and you know what you want and you focus it'll happen to make it happen even better you put down a, a deadline a deadline when you believe that that dream or that wish to come by if I said I want a million dollars by tomorrow I have to really believe that I don't believe I can make a million tomorrow unfortunately I wish I had that belief if I did I'd probably have it tomorrow you know, but I believe I can make, you know, five million in the next five years. I believe that. I 100% believe that. If you, you have to have a belief like that and picture that. You write it down. Write down that date when you're going to have it by on your list. Add it. Make it even easier. Read it every day. Know that it's coming to you. Feel it. Believe it. I'm telling you. I use a lot of analogies with fitness, but man... If you live like it's coming to you, things change. Let's think of a fat guy real quick. A fat guy, right? He's like, man, I want to be in shape. Okay? That's one of his goals. He's like, I want to be in shape. And he believes that he can be. He sets a date for himself. You know? He reads it every day. I want to be in shape. I want to be in shape. I want to be in shape. I want to be fit. Or whatever. He has a date. He gives himself three months. 
He goes to bed every night, picturing himself working out, picturing himself lean when he's looking at himself in the mirror, picturing everyone complimenting him. The feeling of what it would be like to be lean. He pictures that every day. Guess what happens the next day when he wakes up and he reads his little list? You know, and maybe he decides to wake up. For some reason, he wakes up with those endorphins going. That last thing he set in his mind, he wakes up early before work. Now he starts working out. Now, he, you know, he's, he's changing his diet. He starts researching more on what to eat. It becomes an obsession because he wants it so bad and he believes he can get it. And he's reading this and keeping it in his head all the time. That he starts to make life changes. Now, he's making changes, but he's also living like he already is a guy that's in shape. You see, if he takes on the role of a guy that's in shape, living if it's already true, it's naturally bound to come true. He's doing the same things that a fit guy would do. He's eating like a fit person. He's working out like a fit person. So by law of whatever the hell this is, I mean, logically too, it's going to come true. He's naturally eventually going to get his wish. And if he has a deadline, if he says three months and he's not close to it, maybe he ends up doing extra cardio because subconsciously he knows that in three months he wants to be at this specific point. So one day after he works out, instead of saying, hey, I'm just going to go home, his body's like, do some cardio. His brain's like, get some cardio in. You have three months. He doesn't realize. You need to understand this. A lot of this seems fucking weird and strange, right? But you need to understand, sometimes you go to the gym and you say you want bigger calves, right? You go to the gym and at the end of your leg workout, you're like, man, I'm just gonna go home, fuck calves today, right? But there's other times where you sit and you, and, and you feel the same way, but you do calves, you work out your calves. What is that deciding factor that says, I'm not gonna work on my calves, okay, I'm gonna work on my calves today. Now, if you're writing it down, you're thinking about bigger calves all the time, I guarantee you, to you you're not gonna skip calves that day. And it's not going to be any extra effort. You're not gonna, it's not going to require willpower. You're just naturally going to want to do it. And it's just going to, you're just going to do it. And you're just going to get through it. And it's just going to happen. It's, it's friggin' weird. It's weird as shit. One time, one day you wake up motivated. Another time you wake up feeling like shit and you don't know why. You look for excuses. Maybe I ate something bad. Maybe I got a bad night's sleep. No. It's something programmed in your subconscious brain that you don't even understand. It's psychological or it's spiritual. I don't know what it is. But whatever the hell you focus on and what you really want and you think about all the time, you will change to make it happen. And when you change, it's like a domino effect. You do one thing differently and all of a sudden, everything starts to change. You know, if I flip someone off, I did something differently, right? But now that person is gonna change from my action. And he's gonna do something. He might say something to someone. Now that person he said something to said that I said told him I'm a dick, they're gonna act different to me. You know what I mean? There's a chain reaction. For instance, I was like, man, I wanna get my YouTube subscribers up. And I was reading this all the time. All of a sudden my YouTube shot up. I started getting way more subscribers, okay? But at the same time, I was posting more videos. Now why was I posting more videos? Because I wanted to get more YouTube subscribers. So naturally, I was like, let me bring my camera. I don't know. I just feel like recording today. As of recent, you see, I haven't been recording as much. Well, one of the things that happened to me is I stopped reading my list. That's one thing. Another thing, my computer went down and all this shit. But I could have figured out a way to record and get it up there, you know? But I wasn't reading my list. I wasn't focusing on this. So I was just kind of like, meh, I won't record today. Meh. I don't know, I just don't feel like it, meh, too many people at the gym, meh, I don't know, I'm running late, meh. I mean, I've already taken 19 minutes out of my day to do this and there's no extra effort for me, you know? I want to do things like this. I want to share what I've learned and what I've tried. But some days I just don't do it. Other days I do, you can't explain it. There's some mystical weird fucking force or subconscious or whatever we don't understand that we're not aware of that makes these things happen. That's why successful people are focused on success all the time. Where a person is in their life, you can learn a lot from. What that comes out of their mouth, their excuses. Oh, you learn a lot from. It just shows how their mind is. You see a rich person and you can say, oh, he got it this way, he got it that way, whatever, man. The thing is, is that something in their mind is making them think to make that money, to get that money. Because you look at people that win the lottery and they don't have the mindset of even being able to keep that money or handle that money. They don't know 
They never believed they could have it. That was chance that hit them probably. Who knows? And they end up going bankrupt. They couldn't understand, they couldn't, they didn't have the mindset to hold on to that money, to, to even have that money in general. So they lose it as fast as they got it, which makes no friggin' sense. People win 200, 300 million dollars and they're bankrupt. You give me one million and I'll turn that into 10. It's astonishing. Anyways, I'm ready to go work out. <laughs> the pre-workout's got me turned into a chatterbox. How to get what you want. Let's summarize it for you guys. This is going to be the cliff notes. Maybe I'll put a link on how to cliff note this shit so no one has to listen to my rambling. But it's important you do. And if you have, that means you really do want it and you really do believe. <sighs> Anyways. Cliff notes at 21 minutes. Number one. Know exactly what it is you want. To as much detail as possible. Number two. Believe that you can actually have it. Believe it. Number three, write down on a list exactly what you want. Write a date if you can. It will make it even more precise. Number four, read that list three times a day. Morning, right when you wake up. Afternoon at some point, maybe lunch. And right before bed. Next rule. Oh, I think number five, but not really. Is that when you go to bed, picture yourself as that wish already fulfilled. Picture yourself in first person with whatever wish you have, the computer, whatever it is. Picture your wish that you have it and you're in possession of it in first person. Keep doing that every night and fall asleep. Number six, safety precaution. Don't tell anyone what it is you want or what you desire. And the last thing is, I guess I'll add is, stay consistent. I promise you, if you try this, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, do this. Prove me wrong. Prove that it doesn't work to me. But be honest with yourself. If you say something, make sure you believe it. Believe it to be possible. Because I don't want you to say, oh, there's always going to be those idiots that are like, man, I, I said I want to be a pro football player by next week, and I wasn't. And you know, in your friggin' head, you knew you, you didn't believe that you could be in a week. So don't try to pull that bullshit. All right, guys, I hope this is good. <laughs> I'm about to go do back. And uh, there'll be some more of these inside my mind. But that's how to get what you want. Follow them, try it out. It's worked for me. I need to personally get back on my list. Even I fall off. Everyone falls off. Stay consistent. And we usually fall off from outside influence. Mental fortitude. Having a strong brain, strong mind. Alright guys. Until next time.